Greetings my fellow lovers of tunes and welcome back to another Ray Reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music of course. Now I'm very excited because this is only the second ever video that we are doing on this artist on this channel and I'm very excited. I've been very like eager to do another video of hers but you know time goes past so quickly nowadays. I have no idea where the time is going because the first video that we did was like late September-ish. Um, a request by Jamie who has been giving us amazing requests all over the years but she introduced us to the artist and the song was called Oscar winning tears if I'm not mistaken it was beautiful the the vocals and that was insane and I had so many questions so many of you guys helped me answer some of those questions but I'm ready to hear something else and see what else she has to offer and that is what today's video is it's called Genesis and this is also a request from the one and only Raina Hook. Now that song might, uh, that name might sound familiar because she's the one that introduced pro beatboxing to the channel, which was absolutely extraordinary. Like Taras Stunnen or Taras Stunnen, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, incredible things. She had some amazing requests, but I'm very excited to see what this one is all about. So thank you very much to Raina for this incredible request. I'm very excited to see what it's all about, hear what it's all about, and dive right into it. So let's get into it, and then we will discuss it afterwards, as always. Say the 20s are the best years of your life, but I seem to be spending mine missing sunsets, because I'm busy on my phone observing everyone else, how I compare and obsess, just me, my phone, and these walls. And I've been sober for some months, but I can feel the demons waiting on my downfall. Since I'm so ugly and irrelevant I've been losing friends as if I'm trying to get rid of them I googled why I'm so desperate for validation and sedatives huh? Calling men who don't give a about me And when my mother called I pretend I'm busy I'm trying to end up anywhere except from where I've been Cutting clothes, bed brown and fed of me mm, And this devil on my shoulder, man, I'm trying to shake him off My ex is on my timeline, it's as if he's showing off My self-esteem is face tune and ring lights my ego is conquering new heights I think I need some Do you need some? Don't we all need some? I lied, I don't think I need some I need some down till you let him in the room since you are already acquainted you skip the foreplay grips you at the neck as you prepare to be screwed you try to muster a flare to tell somebody is sinking but anxiety is an index finger pressed to your lips a whiskey bottle it whispers since you're already bitter a cocktail fit for a quitter come here and give me a kiss Just to make my waist look slimmer I'll make my ass look bigger So that I'm someone you aspire to Let me in your algorithm, please I know I'll only be important If I'm someone you would like Follow, share, and subscribe to If you're thirsty like me Make some pity with some self-hate Stir it up, then add 12 ounces of rosé It's how I make the glass half empty And drink it down Close words and the insecurities Here lies a story, little soul She doesn't even know to pray for It's not just a heartbroken bitch I traded the back of the nightclub I did for the bathroom floor I wish I could call my ex He would know just what to say He don't say nothing at all now I did a mind The only thing I rely on him to do Is stay declining my calls And see your son, you're so normal 
peace, fake democracy, can it oversee, killing ourselves, suicide, government lies, discrimination, hating ourselves, why hope, why keep going, why try, why, Genesis 1 verse 3, I'll dry my eyes, the only thing which darkness cannot coexist is the light, the light, the light, the speechless that was that was something else that was incredible that was phenomenal i i don't even know where to start there was so much going on in this that i when i ended the video i only realized then that this video was seven minutes long which i have a question about but i'll get to that a little bit later but i never felt seven minutes go past so quickly i was hooked from beginning to end intrigued and there were so many things going on and so many amazing well, I, I wouldn't say amazing is the right word, but so many incredible ways that to bring these problems and the societal issues that we are living in in today's life to light and address them and make it into a song that not only sounds absolutely incredible, that first part, the whole like composition of the song sounded incredible. And I really had to f dial in to really focus on the seriousness of the lyrics and everything that's going on in the symbology and uh, not to just go with the flow and the music because the beat was incredible in that but i have to say personally that that towards the end the that that style that she went in there i i don't know if it's like a jazzy or bluesy vibe but that style in particular i think is one of my favorite ways that she sings in with all the trumpets and the keyboard and that that's old school sound effect that she has i think a voice is made for that style of music her vocals in this was incredible and i just wanted to get that done and over with because she is an incredible artist she has an incredible voice and i think everything from beginning to end in this was so beautifully executed and i wanted to start off uh, by going they back on the video 
um, the beginning. I'm I'm not gonna pause it. I just want to get all those those the lyrics or the yeah the lyrics of the the part in the beginning that she was singing because that already set the mood and the tone for me at least of this song so well they like it started off saying they say in the 20s the best years of your life and then i was already like hmm where is this going because i don't think i agree with that then it goes to say but i seem to be spending mine missing sunsets because i'm busy on my phone and i was like yes there it is here comes the truth because i for a moment was caught off guard i'm like wait i i did not experience that maybe this is about something else and then she goes on to say how i compare and obsess just me my phone and these walls and i've been sober for months but i can feel the demons waiting on my downfall since i'm so ugly and irrelevant and it goes on and on i don't want to like read the whole thing again i just wanted to explain to you guys my train of thought when I was listening to it, I immediately thought, wait, I don't understand where this is going. But then these truth bombs came out and she named it one by one by one. All of these things that we go through and that we experience in today's world that I don't think is spoken enough about all the things that is going on. And I think she completely blew it out of the, wa the water with this addressing those issues putting emphasis on it putting the light on it and just going out there and saying that you know this is what i'm going through this is what we're going through and you're not alone if you're experiencing these things because i think that's a big problem especially when you are younger that these things affect you and you feel so alone in the world and you try to like deny all these things that are happening and try to put on a mask for the world and show that you are not affected by these things but i i'm, I'm very happy and grateful that i'm in this point in my life like i'm 31 right now if i remember correctly yes um and if i listened to this song 10 years ago i don't think it would have affected me and impacted me the same way as it do now because i went through these experiences and i'm still going through them but the difference is to me at least i know it might differ for many people when she started off saying that 20s are the best years of your life i always thought that as well and then i lived it and i was like that was terrible that was probably the worst years of my life by far so far and as you get older you start looking back and reflecting to what went wrong what did you go through what did you experience you know all these things and you have a bit more maturity or emotional maturity and understanding of how the world works and things like personal image doesn't bother you as much as it did once before or maybe it bothers you more it depends on how your life goes and maybe you spend more time on the screen than you did before or, you know life is so like unpredictable that this could either be it could be better for you or worse for you depending on how life goes and what challenges it throws out but what, what i wanted to say for me personally i really think this was incredible if i heard this 10 years ago i probably would not have even bothered listening to it maybe for the beats and the tune of the song but i would not have understood understood or respected what she did in this as much as i do now it is incredible talking about all these societal problems that people are going through the youth are going through all the people are going through because this is not limited to race or gender or age or anything this is stuff everybody experience it doesn't matter who you are where you are in the world and i'm, I'm very sure that a lot of people might having a worse experience than others i am not blind to that but this is not limited to any specific role that you play in life it, it, this affects us all and it's it's incredible like if i look on social media nowadays to see all the things that are happening in the world and I always just think to myself, how did we get to this point? How did we as humanity get to a point where we are constantly breaking each other down and criticizing and editing things and stuff like that? And I know it's easier said than done because there's so much negativity. You, you almost yearn for some positive reinforcement in a way. 
Um, so I understand both sides of it, but it really is truly sad. And th that's another thing that I wanted to say, and this is only how it personally affects me, and I know this is not about me, but what I wanted to also just say is, stuff that what I'm doing like right now, like with these videos, this is also not something that I would have been able to do 10 years ago, or maybe even five or eight years ago, depending on when it was in my life. Because, you know, putting yourself out there on the internet, and I don't have a, a huge following, I'm very grateful for the community I have, and I, I have more than we ever expected to reach. But to go out on the internet, you have to be able to take criticism. And there was a time not long ago, like when I was still in the beginning of doing videos that if I was doing a recording session, I would change my shirt every single video. Although it was one recording session, I changed my hairstyle or my shirt or stuff like that every single time because I didn't want people to think that, wait, right, does he wear the same clothes the whole time? You know, stuff like that. Or I would always go and wash my hair or stuff like that. Things like that that always affected me in the beginning. And luckily, it, I grew in the sense of it doesn't bother me as much and I've come to realize that people sometimes don't even notice the things that you do but if I had to do this 10 years ago or so I don't think I would have been able to do it negative comments you know people trolling on the internet that sort of thing really brings it down but that's just my experience I don't, I'm gonna stop talking about my own feelings in this but I think it was a brilliant song like all these things that she addressed and she emphasized on like the phone addiction that that's one of the biggest things that is so incredible to see nowadays how kids young kids are in front of a screen all day and i know i'm probably sounding pretty hypocritical doing what i do but if i remember my childhood you were outside most of the time playing in the dirt making dirt roadways stuff like that and being out in nature um climbing trees stuff like that and i know the world is not in the same place and it's probably not as safe to do it but it's it's scary to see how much the world has changed and how much the change has affected our lives in so many different ways like that that point where she was saying that the f photos are edited sort of my waist looks skinny and my my behind looks bigger so that i can get your approval and feel like i'm wanted that sort of thing i it, it's it's so sad that that is the world that we live in because I've seen so many times people's videos and pictures where they just post themselves and it's negative upon negative upon negative. People, it seems like people find joy in criticizing others, bringing others down so that it makes them better in a way. I don't know, but it's it's incredible to see. It's, it's so sad to see and I'm very happy that an artist like this in today's age is bringing light to it and attention to it it's over f well as of recording this it's almost at four million views and it was released five months ago i didn't even know that that's a very it's a very newer song i thought it was a bit older um that already says along if you go through the comments of this video you can understand you can see how people agree to it and how they relate to this so much and i think that is incredible towards the end like i said in the beginning my favorite part of it that style that she was singing in it was incredible but there she addressed the issue of like un underappreciated workers and like roles that people play in our society like single mothers and fathers and teachers and nurses and there are so many that i probably don't even know about but these people have a very tough time and it takes so much to do things like that alone and to keep going on because without these peoples and the roles like teachers and nurses and parents and all those things where would we be you know it's it's very beautiful and i can probably go on rambling and ranting about this for hours and hours because i have so many thoughts on it but i really think that she did an incredible job with this it is so beautifully beautifully executed oh and what i wanted to get back to as well because i was wondering why this like why this song was called genesis especially after watching it as well and then i realized the seven minute marking thing and the way that she was singing about let there be lights and everything it almost sounds like a call or a what is the right word to use here like a 
a way of saying go back to your beliefs or go back to religion or god or whatever the case is i might be wrong in this but it, it made a little bit more sense where i saw genesis dots like in the beginning go back to the beginning where and how your roots you that, that sort of thing the video is seven minutes long the world was created in seven days you know like i i don't know if that holds any relevance to the song but i think it's a very beautiful addition to this that sort of ties it all together with all of these things going on there might be a fix for it there's a way to go back and find your way once again and there's so much symbolism and things in this video that i'm sure there's a lot of things that i probably missed and did not realize or didn't even notice but i think it's a beautiful way to sort of round off the video and sort of remind you to go back to your roots or your religion or your beliefs or you know that sort of thing it's so beautifully executed i think this video is amazing this this should go viral it should go get song of the year if there's even something like that it's beautiful it is so so impactful and so incredible and if you are still here watching this after all my ranting i do appreciate that i sometimes go off and i look back at the recordings and i'm like oh my goodness you should have just kept quiet because you're starting not to make sense but that's adhd for you uh but any case i would love to hear from you guys what are your thoughts on this one what do you think about this video what how did it make you feel do you relate with these things that's going on and do you agree with what she was singing about and how she presented this and that and also your theories on what the song is about and like i said that ending like the genesis the seven minutes those type of things i would love to hear from you guys so let me know down below in the comments and also thank you very much to reina for this incredible request i honestly didn't know what to expect after oscar winning tears i knew that she was an incredible vocalist she has a beautiful voice but this was something so unexpected but so need it at the same time this is something that we need in today's times absolutely incredible but in any case i'm gonna leave this here hope you guys are having a fantastic day staying safe and healthy out there remember to check up on one another and then i'll see you in the next video but until then remember music is medicine